Hello, what's up? I'm Ole Englund and welcome to my new FAQ video. Hey Ola, what do you think about Meshuggah? They absolutely suck. What kind of desk is that? Looking for a studio desk, but haven't found any that is suitable. This desk is from a brand called Studio Desk. Actually. And uh, this... Uh, this specific one is called Beat. I think the brand is from the Czech Republic or something like that. I'm very happy about this. There's... Uh, I made a video of this. I'll link it up here somewhere or up there. I don't know, but uh, it's really nice. It has a really good cable management system where I can reach a lot of the stuff just by pulling out this. And it's... Uh, yeah. You have two rack spaces here, two rack spaces here. I basically do not need any more because I don't rely on rack gear. And it, yeah, I'm very happy about this desk actually. And it looks really good when it's cleaned. Now it's not really that clean. Eh? Hi Ola. How do Swedish people say Sweden in Swedish language? Sverige. 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 When you're such a good producer yourself, why did you get this other dude to produce the next album for you? Doesn't that cost like a lot or something? Your sound is perfect no matter what cab or amp you're using, drum machine, etc. Or maybe a producer just puts the finish on it? Like the stuff we don't hear? I guess he's uh, referring to uh, the new Feared album that's released 8th of December. And uh, for that album, I decided to have producer and engineer Mark Lewis mix the album. And the reason why I wanted him to mix the album is because I, I would say I'm not good enough to mix an album and uh, be proud of the sound of uh, that album. So I need someone to make all those decisions for me. And uh, even if it costs me a lot of money, it still saves me a lot of money. Because of all the time, I do not have to spend mixing it. Because I know when I start mixing something, I can go on forever. And it's just a, such a big project that basically never ends. So I definitely think it's worth it to have him mix the album. And it also puts another sonic difference to the album than if I would mix it myself. Because I have my type of sound and he has his type of sound. I want his type of sound. So there you go. Hey Ola, any updates on your solar guitar? Come on. <laughs> I can't really say anything more. I know a lot of people are really curious about the uh, new brand that I'm launching soon. But please be patient. I promise very, very soon. Okay? Like, like very soon. But in the meantime, I would recommend that you would go and like the Facebook page of the brand. I'll link it up here somewhere, okay? Go like it and you will not miss out, basically. Hi Ola, is Solar Guitars your own guitar company or is it a partnership with another big guitar company like Wild Audio with Schechter? My guitar brand is started and founded by me and it's not supported by a guitar company or partner like that. So it goes in line with everything else I do, uh, you know, with having self-reliability, you know, I like to have complete control over things. And uh, that's why I decided not to have a partner that would, uh, you know, set me back or, you know, keep me back. I want to have the freedom to do whatever the f*** I want. Uh, without the influence of other people, basically. So I'm really excited about this because this means that I can do changes. Um, and, you know, just if I want to, I just put out a new model and stuff like that. So I'm very, I'm very excited about this be because it goes in line with everything else I do, you know, with fear being self-reliant without a record label, you know, basically just being an entrepreneur. Ola Ola, what's the most unexpected place that you know people follow you? The cool thing with what I'm doing is that it's not aimed at any type of market or anything like that. You know, my YouTube channel is followed by... <coughs> Eyes open. There you go. My YouTube channel is being watched from all over the world. 
I'm not surprised at all when I hear that people from like Nepal or like Iran, Jordan, you know, I have audience from all over the world and it's super awesome and it makes me really proud to uh, be able to reach all these unreachable places. So uh, definitely something I'm very proud about. What's your opinion on headless guitars? They're headless. I mean, it's uh, my opinion. I don't know, but it seems like the headless style is getting more and more popular. And uh, I much prefer the uh, regular type of guitar look, to be honest, or like the classic guitar look. What's a good cheap cab with V30s, 4x12 or 2x12? I want a good tight metal sound. I do not speak for the whole world, but in Europe at least, you can get cabs, Harley Benton cabs from Toman, and uh, they're loaded with uh, V30s. And the cost of these cabs are basically the cost of the speakers in them. They're extremely cheap and uh, they're actually really good. I own the Harley Benton 2x12, which you can actually see in a bunch of my earlier videos. And it sounded absolutely awesome. So uh, yeah, Harley Benton cabs from Toman, check that out. Do you have guitars? Come on, man. How loud do you have your amplifier when you play at home or record? That's a good question and I've received this question a bunch of times. And basically, you can record very quiet if you want, as long as it sounds good on your amplifier. But the good thing about pushing an amplifier and pushing a cabinet is to, that you get more movement in the cabinet and it just feels more real and natural in a way. Not real and natural, but it feels... It just sounds a little bit better, I guess. And at home, I record pretty loud, I must say. And uh, it's hard to say like how loud on the amplifier, but um, I like to have it loud, uh, just enough to, you know, not blow away my neighbors. But it's it's pretty loud, I must say. But I mean, for me, there are no rules when it comes to recording an amplifier. If it sounds better at low volume, I would record at low volume. And uh, just go with the feel, you know? You try it out. Try your microphone in front of the cab. Record it loud, record it quiet. See which one you prefer. If you cannot use a cabinet at home because of your neighbors, you can definitely get like a load box or something like that. Uh, like the Torpedo Live or like in the Satan, Randall Satan, you have a raw output that you can use that you can connect straight to your audio interface. You can use impulses in your computer, okay? Hey Ola, when you know you're gonna take a shower, but you also have to take a dump, do you just skip wiping and go straight to the shower? This is a very good question and I can see a lot of people are wondering what I think about this. So uh, I guess, you know, the good thing about me, I've never been like a slow dumper. I've always like really taken fast shits and uh, I'm pretty quick. So I just wipe my ass real quick, run into the shower, and it's fine, okay. Unless it's in my bathroom that does not have a shower because I have two bathrooms. And you know what, I, I wipe. Because I mean, just taking your hand and just grabbing all your shit in your ass in the shower, it's, it's, no, it's not okay. Okay, thank you for watching this FAQ. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Also be sure to go and pre-order the new Fiat album uh, that's going to be released December 8th and uh, you can pre-order, you know, the, the regular CD, Guitarist Edition or Ultimate Edition that contains Tab and T-shirt and, you know, backing tracks, all the raw tracks and stems of the album so you can check it out if you want to learn or stuff like that. You get an instrumental version with the Guitarist and the Ultimate Edition and uh, yeah, just go to the website fearband.com, pre-order uh, if you want to know what I'm using to create these videos, check the description of this video for links. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.